Hi there and welcome to our talk on information and data architectures. Um, in this talk we're going to look at a number of key things. First of all we're going to talk a little bit about what we call a business intelligence roadmap. Uh, we're then going to look at requirements definition and then move on to remind everybody about what the BI architecture framework is and then take a look at the information architecture. Uh, also introduce the idea of the enterprise data warehouse and then finally look at the data architecture as well. So when we talk about the business intelligence roadmap, what we're really talking about is the uh, process that we go through at the start of a BI project where we need to uh, carry out an assessment of the business intelligence needs uh, and the organisation itself. And so the business intelligence assessment would include, uh, first of all, looking at just what the business and the IT requirements of a BI solution are. We then look at the architectures, uh, the four architectures, the data architecture, information architecture, the technology architecture, and the product architecture. Uh, we then look at the organization and the skills uh, within that organization. And then finally, we look at the program of uh, the BI solution and the various projects, processes and policies that are needed in order to ensure that that uh, BI solution is in fact delivered successfully. We start our work on a business intelligence solution uh, by looking first of all at just what the requirements are. So a definition of requirements is the place to begin. The requirements need to provide a sufficiently high level of detail in the following areas. Um, we need to know what the business requirements are. These can be high level business requirements at this point, uh, but we need to know what sort of business processes are going to be supported by our BI solution, uh, what the business rules are, and also some feeling for the metrics involved as well. We also need to look at the business intelligence functional requirements. Uh, we need to look at the use cases, uh, process workflows, user interaction, uh, the analytical styles and the functionalities that we're going to need in the BI solution. We then need to give some thought to the data requirements. So what sort of data sources we'll be using for our BI solution? Uh, what sort of data conformance? Uh, the consistency and the currency uh, of the data? What about the integration and also the quality of the data that will be coming into the system? We then need to look at the regulatory and compliance requirements. These can vary from country to country or from industry to industry. We also need to look at privacy issues and we need to look at security issues as well. So just to remind us uh, what the business intelligence architecture framework is, um, the architecture framework is a set of blueprints to enable business intelligence projects to complement each other. It's worth saying at this point that uh, our business intelligence projects um, may be done as a series of different projects carried out at different times of the organisation. And so that is why it's important that we have a BI programme for all of these projects to sit within and also that we make sure that we've got these architectural uh, blueprints in place before we start to actually begin any of the projects. Uh, the BI framework then consists of four architectural layers. The information architecture, the data architecture, the technical architecture and the product architecture. And we're going to look in a moment at the information architecture and the data architecture. So to look at the information architecture, this could be summarized by saying that the information architecture is defined as the what, who, where and why for business intelligence analytical applications. And if I start with the what, so what business processes or functions are going to be supported? What type of analytics are going to be needed? What type of decisions are affected? The who, who's going to have access to the system? Employees, customers, prospects, suppliers, other stakeholders. Uh, the where is the where the data is now. Where will it be integrated? Where will it be consumed? In which analytical applications will it will use it? And then finally, why? why the BI solution will be built. And if we can't answer the question why we're building the BI solution, then we shouldn't be building that solution. One of the uh, crucial areas that we consider at the information architecture and data architecture stages is something called an enterprise data warehouse. 
Um, there's been a long-standing acknowledgement that an enterprise data warehouse is needed for organisations that successfully implement business intelligence. When we think about enterprise data warehouses, EDWs, uh, we start by creating what we call an EDW data workflow. And the workflow uh, is as follows. Data is created, updated and modified in systems of record, SORs as they're known. Um, an SOR could be a customer relationship management system, it could be an ERP system, it could be an unstructured file, it could be a cloud application, uh, it could be a business process or it could be uh, data coming in from any one of many big data sources. Data from the systems of record, the SORs, are then integrated, transformed and cleansed. Once we've done that, the data is then loaded into an enterprise data warehouse and the data then can be accessed from the EDW by business intelligence tools for reporting or to give analytical capabilities. The data architecture defines the data, the schemas, uh, integration, transformations, storage and workflow of the BI solution. The Enterprise Data Warehouse has two roles. Um, firstly, it's a system of integration, SOI, and secondly, a system of analytics, SOA. So to start off with, uh, data is captured by the Data Warehouse from the various systems of record, the SORs that we mentioned a few moments ago. Uh, the Enterprise Data Warehouse then uh, uses uh, or becomes a system of integration and SOI which gathers and integrates and transforms all of this data from our sources of record into consistent, conformed, comprehensive, clean and current information. Our Enterprise Data Warehouse is a system of integration. Uh, this means that it gathers, integrates, transforms data from our systems of records into consistent, conformed, comprehensive, clean and current information. Then acting as a system of analytics and SOA, it provides business information that has been integrated and transformed to business intelligence applications for business analysis. I hope this short session has explained a little bit about the BI architectural framework and a little about how the information architecture and data architecture uh, work within the implementation of a BI solution. Thanks very much for watching and uh, again I'll be checking in with you over the course of the next few weeks on this topic.